Hello and welcome. My name is Tyrion Lannister. Okay, folks, well, I want to take some time today to talk about the level six rebel leaders, specifically with how to best kill them. So I want to first acknowledge that there's a guide actually that was made by Kyanide um, here that goes through some of the details, and I would really recommend for all of you to, to look through it. I think that I disagree with a few of the formations, but it is a really helpful guide, so I just want to like mention that to people if they want to see some more details on it. I don't know if people know about it or not, but it's a great guide. Okay, so what I want to dive into is specifically some formations. And the way that I'm going about this is I'm of the belief that level six rebel leaders are really only worth it if you're able to kill them in between six or seven hits. If it's taking more than that, it is just not efficient. It is really wasteful of your motivation. There are a variety of ways to get your motivation down. There are a variety of ways to make your hits do more damage. Um, obviously, you should make sure that you have on the right gear, that you have on the right castle, exterior, and animation. Um, by the way, this is the Beacon of Light is just the one I'm showing, but I'm really using the Dunes Fort. Um, and make sure you use the Kingdom Elite marching animation. All of those things are going to add to your overall expedition damage. I also always make sure I pop at least a 25% damage increase whenever I'm hitting Rebel Leaders. Okay, with all of that being said, what are some of the formations that I would recommend? Well, first, let me say that I pretty much only hit the level six rebel leaders that are either cavalry or infantry, meaning that I can use spear or cavalry to counter them. So here's an example of a hit I have on a level six Westerlands or Thief. And admittedly, this was my seventh hit. It, it, Took me a lot longer than it should have. I wasn't thrilled with how this one went, but I just want to show it did a total of 24% and was able to kill him um, with this formation down here. So what I have here is Hector, Enzo, and Theon on the front line, and then Arslan, Jamie, and Julian on the back line. The reason for this lineup is primarily that I want to get Enzo low, and then I want him to stay at that low health where I can get a lot of damage in. And then I have a bunch of other high damage dealers behind just to deal as much possible damage as you can. Now, what a lot of you may be thinking is that, well, this is missing a healer or a you know, someone to add defense and keep my troops alive. But the key to this whole lineup is Hector. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this just so we can watch it. But what happens in this battle is as Enzo gets low, Hector will trigger his ability, and that ability will last continuously for the rest of the match, making it so that no damage is getting dealt to Enzo any further. So as we can see, everyone's dealing damage, Hector's ability triggers, he does one big hit, knocks everyone down a little bit, but then you'll notice that now I'm only getting zero damage taken. I'm not getting anything more hitting any of my troops, so everyone is staying alive. I get maybe zero or one, but no real appreciable damage is being taken. Enzo is sitting at around, you know, 20% health or so, and it allows us to really deal heavy damage. If you're able to keep all of your troops alive like this without having to waste a spot on a healer, that's how you can really deal some serious damage. Now that's what I do for uh, cavalry-based commanders. What do I do for infantry? Well, let's take a look here at this Stormlands Insurgent lineup. So this again shows that this was my fifth, uh, sorry, my sixth expedition. So I was able to kill it in six shots. Um, and this was the lineup that I used for that. So we have again, Hector, Enzo, and Theon, you're noticing a trend. And then instead of the three backline being spear commanders, now I have three cavalry commanders. But the premise is exactly the same. Um, I was able to just really destroy this rebel leader because I got Enzo low, and then it held with Hector's ability, and no more damage got taken. You can see here that I did the same thing, but it was a little bit less with the Old Town student. Um, I've just generally found that Stormlands are easier to kill than Old Town students, but again, it's just some basic variability. Um, it kind of depends. Um, I just wanted to show for reference that, you know, this is what I think some of the more common um, 
people will try something where they'll do really heavy healers. And I just haven't found that that works very well. Um, I only got 4.29% on that hit. So I'm just kind of using this to show for people that I really do think that you should try and, and use um, the, the formation involving Hector and the rest. It, it does work really, really well. And just to show kind of the consistency, this is that level six rebel leader that I hit. Um, so I started with Jean and then I realized I didn't need her. So then we've got 19, 9, 12, 11, 11, 31, that's sorry, level 5, sorry, and then 11, and then the last one was that 24. So that's my point to you all, is just that it's very consistent with Hector, and then you occasionally get that nice burst when you get a, a 19, or when you get a nice 24 like this. So it just kind of is going to depend on some of the variability, but I would say that if you're using um, one of those two formations that I've suggested, you're going to be able to pretty reliably um, either six or seven shot pretty much any of the level of the level six rebel leaders that are either infantry or cavalry. Um, I honestly have not had as much success with the bow or the spear commanders. And while there are formations I can recommend for you, I would say that in general, you probably shouldn't be hitting them just because it takes too long to potentially kill them. It's, it's going to take too many hits and become inefficient for you. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, my name is Tyrion Lannister. See you then.